Hey guys, I've had some questions about what curriculum I use with my kids and I wanted to hop on here today and talk to you about what we use for English. Now we're eclectic homeschoolers. That means that we use a little bit from several different curriculum companies. We don't have one curriculum that we use like from kindergarten through high school. We've really picked and chosen what's worked best for our family. So um, one curriculum that we have loved and stuck with throughout all of our homeschooling years is Shirley English. And I have one of the books right here. Um, they all are similar to this. The different levels have different colors on the bottom. Shirley English um, offers levels one through seven. We start with level two. That means that we start using Shirley English in second grade and we use it uh, level two for second grade, level three for third grade, level four for fourth grade, and then we skip level five because there's a lot of overlap there. And in fifth grade, we do Shirley level six. And then after Shirley level six, we move on to other uh, curricula for that um, later middle school into high school. But this curriculum I came across early on in homeschooling and it was probably my best homeschool curriculum choice, and I'll tell you why. Shirley English is awesome at teaching kids grammar. Now, a lot of people hate grammar, and me personally, I didn't even understand grammar. Into high school, into freshman year of college, I was struggling with grammar, okay? I never got it nailed down. But Shirley English has um, this system of teaching kids uh, the building blocks of the English language, little by little, they do it through using, um, they call them jingles. Some people would call them chants. And there are different jingles that cover all the different parts of speech, the different types of pronouns, helping verbs, um, objects of the preposition, and so on. And so you start out little by little learning these jingles. You can buy a companion CD where, so they can listen to the jingle and learn along. Um, I just memorized the jingles along with my kids so that my oldest child used the jingle CD, but after that, um, we knew them and the younger kids would learn them just from listening along. So you start out by learning the jingles, what makes a complete sentence. I think there are probably 20 some jingles, okay? And you learn them little by little over the years. It's not all at once. So they're really good at teaching just little by little, line upon line, okay? Then they go into classifying sentences and you do jingles and you classify a few sentences every day of the week except for your writing day, which is every fifth day. So they're constantly getting those drilled down. And then, um, so they classify sentences early on starting probably in first grade, but I never used the first grade curriculum. We started grammar in um, second grade. So they do the jingles and then they'll introduce a new concept and have you practice with it. So. Every year they cycle through the same material, but it builds in intensity and in difficulty. So um, by the time they are in second grade, they're writing simple descriptive paragraphs. They're learning the three point and five point expository essay, the three point and five point expository paragraph. They're learning letter writing, friendly letter writing, business letter writing. Um, they're writing books about themselves, just all kinds of fun activities. They do just a tiny bit with poetry. But um, now Shirley English is a language arts program. It is not for literature and it is not a spelling curriculum. So you'll need to add your own spelling. We added our own spelling and our own literature. But it is grammar, it is writing, and it is vocabulary as well. They're using a dictionary um, right from the beginning, two days a week. They're looking up words and writing definitions and talking about synonyms and antonyms and um, writing practice sentences. There's just so much great stuff about Shirley English. If you've driven down a highway and seen um, a billboard with misplaced apostrophes or an apostrophe where one doesn't belong, um, that is because someone did not take Shirley English who proofread that sign. Okay, so our society is in a dearth of knowing how to use English grammar, knowing how to place punctuation, um, how to do singular and plural possessive nouns and um, so on. So we're passionate about grammar at our house and I have to say that getting a handle on grammar young is so important and so beneficial. By the time our kids go through fifth grade and they finish level six in Shirley English, they have such a great command of grammar. They easily are probably surpassing high school students in a freshman um, grammar class. So um, we love it. I would say on the easier days, it probably takes 20 minutes. On days that are a little more full or on a writing day, it could take more to 45 minutes, depending on how um, eager of a writer you have. But I highly, highly recommend it. I recommend it to everybody. We have stuck through it um, with all of our kids. And then um, 
when it comes to writing, especially when you're starting to look at the college composition CLEP test or the analyzing and interpreting literature um, CLEP exam, I know that having a really good foundation in English grammar is extremely important. So um, I, you get the book, you can buy the CD if you want to. There's also a reference book um, that the kids hang on to, that the jingles are in, and all of the tests are in here, as well as the practice pages. And if you want to, you can pick up this little sentence book that has all the classified sentences that the kids need to do um, in here. So early on, I would just copy these sentences myself out of the main book. Um, but as I get older and busier, we just buy the sentence book. It's like six bucks. So, um, highly recommend Shirley English Grammar. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this is helpful to you. If you guys don't know what you want to do for grammar for your elementary school student, jump on the Shirley English wagon. Really, it's awesome. And if you have a ninth grader who never actually learned grammar is struggling, go ahead and put them in the Shirley level six. They don't have to know that it's meant for sixth grade, right? They'll come out of that if they accomplish that. Um, completely caught up. So can't say enough good things about Shirley English. Check it out.